let's rewind to 2013. Remember the very first time you updated your iPhone to iOS 7? That clean, minimal UI, it felt like the iPhone had grown up. Now, fast forward to today and Apple has dropped another bombshell. Apple recently released the public beta for iOS 26 and it's being called the most visually significant iOS update in over a decade. It's not just a new coat of paint either. Apple is changing how your iPhone looks, feels and even thinks. In this video, we are breaking down what's new in iOS 26 public beta, how it fits into Apple's new cross-platform strategy and what you should definitely know before installing it. iOS 26 introduces a brand new design language called Liquid Glass. Think icons, menus, control center, all transformed with light bending animations and subtle transparency. This visual refresh brings a consistent, fluid-like look across all Apple platforms from iOS and iPadOS to macOS and even tvOS. And yes, it looks as futuristic as it sounds. But there's more to iOS 26 than just visuals. Call screening is a new feature that picks up unknown calls and asks callers to state their name, giving you a transcript before you decide to answer the call. Meanwhile, the hold assist feature monitors your hold music and alerts you the moment someone picks up the call. And if you are a gamer, there's now a dedicated gaming app where all your Apple Arcade and App Store games live under one roof. Bonus feature, the Genmoji and Image Playground features also get a refresh, making your reactions and memes even more expressive. The public beta version includes deeper integration of Apple intelligence as well. Apple's private on-device AI. But here's the catch. These AI features are only available on a handful of iPhone models. So if you are using anything older than a 15 Pro, you won't get the whole AI experience. So if you want to experience Apple intelligence, you need to upgrade. The public beta of iOS 26 is in launching alone. macOS Tahoe 26 gets a spotlight boost feature with AI-powered predictive search plus live activities from your iPhone now sync directly to your Mac. iPadOS 26 brings a new windowing system and the preview app for PDF markup, finally giving the iPad even more desktop-like power. Meanwhile, watchOS 26 adds a workout buddy which will be your AI powered fitness coach and a new flick gesture to dismiss notifications one handed. And tvOS 26 now supports profile switching and lets your iPhone act as a karaoke mic for Apple Music sing-alongs. If you are tempted to try the new beta, you should keep these tips in mind. Back up your device first, minimum 15 GB free space is required, use strong Wi-Fi connection, expect bugs and battery drain and lastly, it's best to install it for secondary iPhones. You can download this version from Apple's beta software program. Just head to beta.apple.com, enroll your device and follow the steps in the software update option under the general menu in settings. The final stable version of iOS 26 is expected to launch this fall, most likely in September alongside the iPhone 17 series. With liquid glass as a visual core and AI driving the experience under the hood, iOS 26 isn't just an update, it's Apple's most significant statement in years. So 
Are you excited for the glassy new look or cautious about giving AI more control over your device? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you are testing the beta already, share your experience as we'd love to know what you think about the new update. For more such updates on iOS, Apple device and all things tech, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. See you in the next one.